Good day and welcome to Coach Group. Today we are going to be doing a back foot punch draw, focusing on trying to hit the ball towards cover, cover point area, to make sure that our head's in a good line and hitting through the ball, completing the shot with hands through to the top. For this draw, the batter, which in this case will be Zender, is going to be standing in the crease. To start it off, I'm going to be throwing under arms between just above the knee and just below the chest, just outside off. The batter is going to move across with his back foot, keeping the foot parallel to the back crease, making sure hands get nice and high, hitting with a straight bat through towards where the cones are, making sure it's a nice big swing and completion to the top. Important to remember is to make sure that you don't fall over with your head, that your eyes stay level, but at the same time that your head does move towards the line of the ball to allow access with your hands. Thereafter, I'm going to go further back and throw some overarms, hitting back of a length outside off. The batter is then going to move across and play it off the bounce to replicate how you'd have to do it in a match situation. So how the draw is going to work, as a thrower, I'm going to get ready to throw the ball. As the ball comes towards Zenden, he's going to move back and across with his back foot. As you can see, it's parallel to the crease. Hands nice and up, head nice and still. From there, he's going to use his hands to explode through the ball and complete to the top in one straight line. We do not want our hands to change the line to try and force the ball into the covers. It is a full-on shot, not a placement shot. Thank you for watching today's video. If you have watched until this point, please remember to leave a like if you found it enjoyable, consider subscribing, and let us know what you thought about the video down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching this video. A couple of key things to remember is trying to keep the back foot parallel to the crease because that ensures that our hips stay in line and that everything's moving through a straight line. If the back foot does happen to turn forward, the hip rotates and that's going to cause the bat to come around the ball, which means we might slice the ball and lose our control. It also opens, out, uh, it opens up the outside edge a little bit more, which is going to bring the slips and maybe a gully into play. The other thing is making sure that at point of contact, the head is nice and still, focus on the ball, and then the hands extend all the way through to the top of the swing.